questions. First, I would like to ask uh, what, has, what, are, what does this success mean for you personally and the team? Devnik. For me, it's the most important trophy of my career because it's the last. That's the way I, I look at things. Um, of course, Champions League is bigger than, than Europa League, but that's the last trophy. And the last trophy is the one where the feelings are under the skin and um, is obviously a fantastic feeling. Um, for the team means everything, means a third trophy, means go back to Champions League, means win an European, an European trophy, means play European Super Cup in, in Macedonia next, next August, uh, means uh, for the club the last piece of, uh, of the puzzle. Um, is now like Ajax is and some some other clubs, a club with every trophy in the world of football. So it means a lot for for me. It means a lot for the club and for the boys and for the supporters too. I believe. Open the floor for questions, please. Here in front. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, after a horrible, horrible week in Manchester, how important was it? to win that game for other reasons. I mean, the reasons you've talked about are important for Manchester United, but how important was it that you set the players out to win for the people of Manchester? You know, uh, it's really hard. That's why yesterday we, we didn't want to have the press conference because we had to prepare ourselves to do our job and to try to forget our work and uh, I agree with the UEFA decision to play the match, but um, you know, if if we have questions like your question that made us return to 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 this tra tragedy, obviously, obviously takes happiness from from our achievement. If we could, we would change, obviously, the people's life for this cup immediately. We wouldn't sing twice. Does this cup make the city of Manchester a little bit happier? Maybe. But we just come to do, to do our job. We, we come without the happiness that we should bring with us because when you come for these big matches, you go happy, you go proud. And we didn't. We just come to do our job. And, and the boys, they were fantastic because they, they block. They block, they put a wall in front of, of their eyes and they stay isolated from, from everything. And we focused on, on a football match, which I think we played really, really well. And the boys, they deserve they deserve this moment. Under some express on Swedish newspaper. Just how happy are you for Slatni Ibrahimovic sake, you know, here in front of his home crowd in France Arena and can you tell us something about his future in the club? I, I think it's so unfair what happened to him. <laughs> sometimes football is, is unfair, sometimes life is unfair. I think it's so unfair. I think for him this night would be an amazing night if he was on the pitch. In his hometown in the stadium where his statue will be, his first club when he left Sweden, his actual club in Manchester United, a season where he made an amazing, an amazing impact. Um, I'm really, really, really sorry about Zlatan not to play this this final, but. He played, he played, he played outside with crutches, with the other guys, Marcos Rojo, Luke Shaw, Ashley Young, Eric Bailly, they were playing behind the bench, they were shouting, they were doing everything. And in the top of it, Zlatan in Swedish, he told the ball boys in the second half to take it easy. So even outside, 
even outside he was he was playing for us so I'm so pleased that he gets finally in his amazing career he gets finally an European trophy Can you have a question here in front please yeah, uh, Jose you said something on TV about poets and winners can you just explain what you meant by that you know the poets are the ones that win every match they win every match I think I'm going I'm going to try to have one of these jobs in a few years because you win every match and I never managed in my career to win every match I always lose matches so some guys they win every time I don't I don't but in a bad season in a bad season in a season where sometimes I felt that um, my team was the worst team in the world where I felt sometimes that I was the worst manager in the world we managed to win three trophies and we go to the Champions League by winning a trophy not by finishing second or third or fourth and we, we have the honor to go to the European Super Cup and play against the, the new Champions League winner so I think the season was was really good was tonight the victory of the pragmatism the the victory of the humble people the people that respect the opponents the people that try try to stop the opponent's qualities try to explore the opponent's um, weaknesses so for me it was a victory of um, a fantastic group but based on pragmatism and based on on humble principles not poets just humble people